This specific MACD strategy I'm about to demonstrate is one of the most powerful trading strategies available, boasting an incredibly high success rate. It's remarkably user-friendly, applicable across diverse markets, and, most importantly, it generates profits. Without further delay, let's dive right into it. The MACD, also referred to as the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, stands as one of the most commonly used technical indicators among traders. Essentially, this indicator utilizes moving averages to identify market trends, and it excels at this task. Now, if you're an experienced trader, chances are you're already familiar with or have heard about the MACD indicator. However, the MACD indicator on its own is merely average. Therefore, I urge you to watch the entire video to see how I enhance its performance by combining it with other indicators. Also don't forget to check out our free list of top Forex brokers with low spreads in the description below. First things first, let's incorporate the MACD indicator into our chart. To do that, first go to Trading View, then go to the Indicators tab. Search for MACD and click the top one and add it to the chart. Now that we have the MACD, let's make sure we know how the MACD actually works. The MACD is made up of four different components. The MACD line, the signal line, the histogram, and the zero line. The MACD line, which is the blue line in most cases, is usually a 12-day moving average. The signal line, which is the orange line, is usually a 26-day moving average. Next, we have the histogram, which represents the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. So for example, the smaller the space between the two lines, the smaller the histogram gets. The bigger the space, the bigger it gets. You can also see once the MACD line crosses above the signal line, the histogram turns green, and if the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it turns red. And finally, we have the zero line, which basically represents the center of the MACD indicator. Now that we know the four components, let's make sure we know how to use them. The MACD indicator is insanely good at finding trends in markets. How you can tell if a chart is about to have an upward trend is by looking for a cross upwards between the MACD line and the signal line. For example, here the MACD crosses above the signal line indicating the chart is in upward momentum, and here the MACD crosses below the signal line indicating it's in downward momentum. You can also use the histogram to indicate how much momentum there actually is. So if the histogram is getting bigger, that means there is an increase in momentum. If it's getting smaller, there is a decrease in momentum. To effectively utilize this indicator, focus on crossovers that occur below the zero line when initiating long positions. Conversely, when shorting, only enter a trade when the lines cross downward and remain above the zero line. As you can see, this indicator is incredibly easy to use. However, the primary issue encountered by most traders is relying solely on this indicator. Let me explain why this approach falls short. The MACD indicator works best when the market follows a clear trend. For instance, it excels at signaling upcoming price increases when the chart demonstrates an upward trend. However, during a downward trend, the MACD may still signal long positions, even as prices decline. To address this issue, we need to ensure we trade only when the market is trending upward. Trading against the trend invariably puts the odds against you. A simple way to identify an uptrend is by incorporating a 200-day moving average into the analysis. To do this, go to TradingView. Go to the Indicators tab. Search for EMA, which stands for Moving Average Exponential. And add to the chart. Then go to the setting of the EMA. In the Inputs section, change the length to 200. Then go to Style. I like to make mine bright and yellow, but you can choose the color you like. Once the indicator is added, you'll notice a single line. If the price remains above this line, it indicates an uptrend. Conversely, if the price falls below the line, it signifies a downtrend. Equipped with this knowledge, we can further refine our strategy. When trading long, we only want to enter a trade when the market exhibits an uptrend. Never trade against the trend, as it significantly reduces your chances of success. To ensure we're trading in an uptrend, we combine the following criteria. The MACD lines must cross below the zero line, and the current price should also be above the 200-day moving average. This combination guarantees that we exclusively trade during uptrends, creating a potent strategy. Conversely, when shorting, we invert the criteria. Ensure the price remains below the 200-day average, and the MACD lines cross downward while remaining above the zero line. 
For example, we would initiate a long trade in such a scenario since the MACD lines cross upward below the zero line and the current price is above the 200-day moving average. To manage risk, I recommend setting a stop loss below the 200-day moving average. This essentially turns the 200-day moving average into a barrier that the price must surpass to trigger the stop loss. Additionally, I prefer to maintain a profit target that is 1.5 times the size of the stop loss. As demonstrated in this example, the strategy performed precisely as intended, resulting in profitable outcomes. Nevertheless, we can further optimize this trading strategy. The combination of the MACD strategy and the 200-day moving average works exceptionally well in the presence of significant price movements. However, when the chart enters a sideways phase and loses momentum, the strategy becomes less reliable and may generate false signals. To address this issue, we need to incorporate price action along with the MACD indicator. First start by identifying key support or resistance levels where the price bounces. For instance, observe how the price declines, reaches a specific point, and subsequently reverses upwards. The next step involves patiently waiting for the price to revisit the same level. When this occurs, we anticipate the price to rebound from the support level, following a pattern similar to previous instances. However, it's crucial to note that past bounces off support do not guarantee future outcomes. If the price possesses sufficient momentum, it can easily breach the support level and decline further. To confirm an impending change in momentum, we introduce the MACD indicator. In practical terms, when the price is above the 200-day moving average and it reaches the established support level, wait for the MACD lines to cross below the zero level before entering the trade. This integration of MACD, the 200-day moving average, and support and resistance levels yields an exceptional success rate with this strategy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our free list of top Forex brokers with low spreads in the description below. And please like and subscribe. I hope you've gained valuable insights from this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time.